Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter 12, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So I rewrote it here. I'm gonna show you the way that I learned things in terms, which is actually very helpful. So we're gonna go ahead and start with number two. It says two yards equals how many feet? Okay, well, so I'm gonna start with what I know, which is two yards, that's what it gave me. And now I need to go to feet. So what I did is I wrote two yards and then in one yard, there's three feet. So that's the conversion, okay? So in one yard, there's three feet, okay? So now I can cross cancel my yards and I'm winding up in feet, which is what I want. And then I just have to multiply the top, which is two times three is six, done. Okay, I'm gonna show you again, okay? It says eight feet is how many inches? Well, eight feet, and in one foot, there's 12 inches. So all I did is this is the conversion. One foot is 12 inches, okay? And I put foot on the bottom because I want to cross out, I want to cross cancel feet and wind up in inches, okay? Now I just have to do eight times 12. Well, I can do that over here, okay? Eight times two is 16, carry that one. Eight times one is eight, plus one is nine. 96 inches, okay? I'm gonna show you one more time, okay? So seven yards is how many feet? Well, in one yard, there's three feet, okay? So that's the conversion that you guys have been taught, okay? So now I'm gonna cross cancel yards, so I'm left with feet, which is what I want, okay? And then seven times three is 21. 21, okay? So you should have 96 here, and you should have 21 here, okay? You guys do five through seven, okay? You totally can. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, and it says to compare which to which, okay? So first, we want to make them both in the same unit, okay? So yards and feet. Well, it's easier for us to multiply than it is for us to divide. So we're going to start with the one three yards. Okay. Now in one yard, there's three feet. Okay. Okay. So now I can cross cancel my yards. I wind up in feet, which is what I want. And I just have to go three times three. Nine. Okay, so now is nine feet bigger or 10 feet? Well, 10 feet is, done. Okay, let me do that again, okay. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys do this one and I'm gonna put eight yards or 20 feet, okay? So we're doing number 10. So eight yards, okay, that's the one that I have to multiply. If I did feet, I would wind up having to divide. So I'm going to do yards because going from the bigger unit to the smaller unit means that you get to multiply. Okay, now in one yard, there's three feet. Okay, we can't go. Yes, we can. Never mind. Okay, so now I get to cross out yards. I wind up in feet, which is what I want. And eight times three is 24. So this is 24 feet. So now which one is bigger, 24 or 20? 24. Okay, you guys do number nine, don't forget about it. Okay, also do 11 through 13. You guys totally can, I believe in you. Okay, Carla has two lengths of ribbon. One is two feet long, the other is 30 inches. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do two feet, and we're gonna see how many inches that is, right? So in one foot, there's 12 inches, right? Okay, so cross cancel feet. I wind up in inches, that's what I want. Two times 12, 24. So this is 24 inches, okay? So, 30 inches is bigger because two feet equals 24 inches. Done. 
Okay. All right. A football player gained two yards in one play. On the next, he gained five feet. What was his gain greater on the first play or the second? Okay. So we're going to turn yards into feet. So two yards. Okay. We're in one yard. There's three feet. Okay. So cross cancel my yards. I'm left with feet. That's what I want. Okay, two times three is six. So, okay. On the first play, because two yards equals six feet. Okay, all right guys, we're gonna go on to the back. You guys are gonna do the lesson checks just like always. Okay. And we're gonna go down and do the spiral review. Okay. Describe the turn shown below. Okay, you ready? Okay. So you can see that we split this up into four. When we split something up into four, it's called quarters. Okay. So this is one quarter. So one quarter turn, okay? So there's our size. And the direction is going in the opposite num way, the opposite direction of the numbers. The numbers would go one, two, three, this way. And it's going the opposite way, which means counter clockwise. Done. Okay. All right. So on this one, I know it's really hard for y'all to see, but these three are the ones that are colored in. Okay. So the decimal would be three tenths. Done. Okay. There's 10 here. Three of them are colored in. Okay. Three sisters shared $3.60 equally. How much did each sister get? Okay. Ready? Three goes into three. One time. One times three is three. Subtract to get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than three. So I'm going to bring down my six. Three goes into six. Two times. Two times three is six. Subtract to get zero. Now, because I ended on a zero and I only have one zero left, I can just move that zero up one dollar and twenty cents. Okay. Which is the best estimate for the width of your index finger? Well, your index finger is not very wide, right? So um, we could go one centimeter. If you're a grown up, you could even go an inch. So, but, I don't know, let's stick with one centimeter. You could also go with one inch. That's probably about it, though. Okay? All right. Good job, guys. Come on back for 12.3. See you soon.